Good morning. I'm Pastor Steve Hom of Christ Our Savior Lutheran in Rockford, Michigan. And this is your isolation meditation for Wednesday, May 6th. As we've been looking at the Lord's Prayer in a series of meditations, today we come to a very timely petition. Deliver us from evil. I say this is a timely petition because we think at this time of a great evil that infects our world. An evil in the form of a virus that threatens us with disease and death. But there is a greater evil at work in this world as well. When Luther explained this petition in his small catechism, he writes, We pray in this petition that the Lord would deliver us from every evil that threatens body and soul. In Matthew's Gospel, when he writes the words, deliver us from evil, the Greek there could also be translated, deliver us from the evil one, referring to Satan. The greater evil at work in this world is the way that Satan is using this virus to tempt people and lead people into sin. Sin that threatens their souls. Just think of all the sins that come along with uh, this virus that we're facing. Sins of fear, worry, despair, sins in the way we treat one another, temptations for anger or slander, disrespectful attitudes. It's a whole host of sins that have been brought into this world together with the virus. And Satan loves nothing better than to use a disease to turn people to sin. Just think of how uh, the world is right now. Commonly in our in our country, we think of a great disaster coming and kind of brings everybody together, and there's a, a spirit of unity. Has that happened with this virus? Are we experiencing more unity, more solidarity among one another, or is there more dissension and strife? There is much evil, and so we pray, deliver us from that evil. Deliver us from the evil that threatens our body. Send your holy angels, Lord, to protect us, keep us safe at this time. But also deliver us from the evil that threatens our soul. This happens when the Lord leads us into peace and leads us into loving words and actions and attitudes that can only be empowered through the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so we pray, deliver us from evil. We'll pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. God bless your day.